What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be breaking down a very simple little pressure that you can get at $1.326. Really simple setup. There's only like two adjustments to this. This is going to get great pressure against Bunch. It's going to be actually really good against different types of pass protection schemes that Bunch might add in. But I'm really excited to bring this video to you today. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We upload videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And we're actually releasing our 46 defensive ebook. So if you want to get the full um, 46 defensive ebook that covers the 335, 335 wide, but also covers the dollar 326, as well as some other coverages. Um, I would encourage you to get it, guys. There's a link in the description. We're going to show you how to really lock down people on defense. And this year, it's really hard to do that. So uh, if you want to learn my defense, the exact defense that I'm going to be using, um, that 4-6 defense is really, really good. So check that out. Link in the description. And the setup is, or the play we're going to be using today is Max Sting 3. So if you notice here, this is a five-man pressure. It looks very similar to Mike Blitz 3, um, which is really, uh, I think, a great thing for our defense. So anyways, we're just going to come out in Mike's Max Sting 3. And all we're going to do is if you take a look here, you're going to see that our cover 3 is unfortunately on the wrong side of the field. So we're just going to flip the play. And what you'll notice is this is the look that you're going to get just like so. And then all we're going to do is we're going to press our coverage, QB contain. And then we're just going to drag this guy in just a little bit, just like that right there. Um, you might need to get him just a little bit closer. I'm going to make sure just up until he comes on an actual contain, as you can see. So this creates this look that we want to have happen. Uh, let me reset the linebacker. My linebacker should go down in here. I'm not sure why he's not, but I want him down in here. And we're not going to use her the linebacker, okay? We're not we're not going to use her the linebacker. We're actually going to use her this safety right here. And what you can do with this is you can do a couple different things. But I just want to show you the base rush. And what you'll see here is we should get edge pressure from both edges. Super glitchy heat. Really good heat from Dollar. Now, um, as we've done a couple of videos on Dollar, we've talked about how Dollar 326 does not get weak boxed. The reason why is because it has three down linemen. Super important. So you don't have to worry about getting weak box. We just have to be able to naturally stop the run. So again, I just flip the play, press my defense down, contain off the edge on that left side, bring that guy down just like this. And I'm using right in here. And you're going to see, we're going to absolutely scream off the edge every single time. Now, the cool part about this is you can actually go ahead and drop more people into coverage if you want to. So you can move this guy off the side. And then what I can do with this linebacker is I can actually do a couple things. Uh, my favorite adjustment is to just man him up on the running back. Real simple. And then I'm going to come down with my user and kind of hover uh, in these gaps. I actually like to be over here on this right side. But the snap of the ball, which you'll see, is we're still going to get pressure off of the right edge. So we're only sending four people at the quarterback, and we're getting instant pressure. Really good defense. And also, if you notice, we can actually send some super gas as well. For example, let's say we want to blitz all of our linebackers and we want to crash our defensive line down. Now what we're going to be in a situation to do is we're going to send six people um, or seven people at the quarterback. So if they block with seven people, take a look at what this defense is going to do for us. You're going to see here, we're going to absolutely scream, looping around pressure, pressure coming from everywhere. It's a great defense to have in certain situations. Now, if you want to guarantee pressure off of one side of the field, maybe you want to send the pressure right off the bunch side, um, which is something I do like to do from time to time. What you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and take this say, or this uh, corner and just simply drop him into coverage. So I can drop him into a hard flat or whatever. And now you're going to see we're just rolling the coverage to the left side. Ignore that movement. It's not going to make a big difference. But anyways, you'll see right here. Now we're going to kind of guarantee pressure off of that left edge and be able to essentially roll a coverage to a trip. So bunch or trips tight end. That's a really good defense for us. So again, I just flip the play. Globally blitz my linebacker straight down. QB contain. And then all I'm going to do is uh, on that side, I'm just going to drop that slot corner into coverage just like this right here. And what you'll see is we're going to send instant pressure at the quarterback. So really simple little blitzing scheme here out of the dollar three two six this year. I think dollar is one of the better defenses uh, in the entire game, especially when you can understand the fact that you don't really get weak boxed anymore uh, with the latest update of the game. That to me is absolutely huge. And the cool part is we can do the same thing off the opposite side. So if we wanted to really have heavy coverage onto the bunch side or to the, the running back side, which I wish my adjustments would show. There you see the adjustments here. So we're going to send 
you know, the couple or a couple people off that edge. And now we've got a little bit better coverage on that side. And so now I'm just going to stand over here now and you'll see we're going to scream. Uh, I think we almost got B gap pressure there. But as you can see, that's kind of the idea uh, for the pressure. So, you know, real simple defense, honestly, nothing too crazy. If you don't want to flip, uh, it will require, I think, a little bit more of an adjustment uh, on your part. So I would go ahead and just simply flip the play. Again, if you want to drop that, you got zones everywhere on the field. And then, you know, you see here we're just really hitting that contain rush. Um, super pretty little blitz here, in my opinion, just great pressure. And the cool part is this pressure really uh, kind of builds off of one another, though. So I really like that about this defense. Again, just simply flip the play. And I like how it puts the linebackers in the gaps. And then once you press coverage, your contain comes right off the edge, just like so. And then you can you can feel free to go ahead and you know drop a couple people in coverage, just like this here. Maybe drop this guy in a mid read uh, to help out a little bit more on the bunch side. But as you see, your contain is going to come around the edge just like that now in my personal opinion i would just continue to blitz the corners i think you know the double edge heat that you can get from this is actually really good so if i just flip the play what you'll see is which i got a little bit of a weird glitch here um let me let me throw this ball away real quick but what you'll see is if you if you flip your play out of max sting just so that you have the cover three on the right side of the field right then what you do all you need to do is contain and then just bring these guys in off the edge so now you're only blitzing, I mean, technically, I think you're only blitzing five, um, and you're going to get, you normally will get double edge heat, two man free. So if they block a running back, you actually, I'll, you will find, especially against Gun Bunch this year, um, if they block a running back, you get these nice little looping contains, which I really like. So this is a great play if you just want to send some pressure. Um, I like to kind of hover right in here and then just come down just a little bit. But as you see, completely glitches the running back out and you get instant heat against a blocked running back. So send five, you're going to get somebody free. That's what I like about this defense. Super effective and honestly, super simple to set up. There's not a lot you have to do. If you want to use her, the linebacker, let's say for example, that you just, you don't, you know, you want to use a linebacker. You want to have, you know, maybe play cover two or whatever. You can do that as well. I'm not saying that you can't, all you need to do, just grab this guy. And of course, I'm um, for whatever reason I'm getting kind of frozen on my 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 dragging of the players here. But there we go. There it's going to let me drag him in now. So you just drag this guy in, crash your line down. You're going to use her kind of right over in here. And what you'll see is you're still going to get that left edge heat, and you're going to get double edge every single time. So this is like Mike Blitz three on steroids out of dollar. And you also get better coverage. You get better personnel, better coverage. Everything is better in dollar. Um, so I'd encourage you if you have not already picked up my 46 defensive ebook there's a link in the description where you can get it for just fifteen dollars we're going to teach you how to run the 335 the 335 wide the nickel normal and the dollar 326 and the big nickel over g so a ton of resources in this ebook for you thanks for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and if you want to get my full 46 defensive ebook there's a link in the description